Hey guys, long time no see. I did a quick, easy tutorial for you all, which is my favorite, favorite look that I like to do um, when I don't have a lot of time on my hands and I'm just like on the go but really want to look nice, like going on a date or something. Um, I used my favorite, favorite pigment by MAC, which is Blue Brown Pigment. I also used my 88 color, 88 neutral palette from BH Cosmetics and um, a couple limited products from MAC. You definitely use whatever you have in order to achieve this look still. You don't have to use what I used in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you guys want to know how I did it then just keep on watching. Alright so I've already applied my Painterly Paint Pot as my base and if it'll focus what it looks like. I've also um, applied rice paper as my highlight by MAC as always. The next thing I'm going to take is this brown color from my 88 color palette by BH Cosmetics with my 224 brush and I'm just going to apply this on the midsection of my crease and this is just going to be my transition color so that it won't be um, harsh and it'll just be more of like a smooth transition. Now I'm going to be taking Shark Skin Shade Stick by MAC. These are going to be discontinued and they're really really good so if your counter still has them, get them because they're my favorite. I'm just going to apply this on my lid area so that the pigment that I'm going to apply is going to be super intense. So I'm not going to go any higher than my lid. I'm going to take a clean ring finger and I'm just going to blend this out so it should look something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be applying color on top of this. I'm going to be taking my favorite pigment in the whole wide world. This is Blue Brown Pigment by MAC. This is my ultimate favorite, favorite pigment. Um, it's like a duochrome so it looks like a kind of green to brown and then it changes to like a red. It's my favorite, favorite. I'm going to apply this with Max 234 brush. This is the limited edition brush from the semi-precious collection. I'm just going to take the natural side, the natural hairs. And I'm just going to pat this on the base. And I'm not going to go any higher. And by patting this on, you're going to get that full color effect. You could even wet the pigment if you want, but because I'm using a base, I really don't need to make the uh I really don't need to make the pigment as intense. So with this pigment, the more you blend it out, it'll turn more of like a reddish brown. So I'm just taking the cap of the pigment like this with my 222 brush. I'm just going to take a little bit more, tapping off the excess, and then I'm just going to apply this right where I apply that brown color and as you can see it's starting to look like that reddish color right there I'm also going to take my 239 brush and apply the same pigment on my lower lash line all the way across alright so now I'm going to tight line and apply eyeliner on my waterline. This is engraved PowerPoint Pencil by MAC. I'm just going to smudge that out with my 239 shader brush. Now I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm going to be using my favorite Ardell Wispies Black. Looks like this. And I'm going to apply my Hot and Naughty Mascara by MAC on my top and bottom lashes. And I'll be back to show you what I'll be putting on my cheeks and my lips. Alright guys, so I applied my face. Usually now that I don't have a lot of time on my hands, I just use concealer, which is my best friend now, under my eyes to conceal my dark circles. Being that I'm like awake at night time feeding the baby and whatnot. But all I do is apply select cover up in NW25 underneath here and on my nose and then for the rest of my face I just use my mineralized skin finish natural powder in medium plus. That's it. I'm just going to contour just a bit and I'm taking Solar Reach um, bronzing powder. 
here's the name and it is a limited color so um, this was from collections collections ago but baby collection um, relaunched the solar reach uh, bronzer but this is my favorite and I'm just gonna be taking my 188 skunk brush and just applying this on the hollows of my cheeks not too much okay so with my elf complexion brush I'm loving the studio line from elf I'm going to be taking Prism. I'm going to be taking Prism Blush. Surprisingly, it's not my warm soul. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks. But just the apples of it because I've already contoured and I don't want to do too much. Prism, I really, really like. It was my first love. For lips, I'm going to be taking a limited color called Dream. It's just like a frosted pink color, fairly neutral. And then for gloss, I'm going to be taking Cinched Up 3D Glass, which is also a limited edition lip gloss. Now, everything that I use, you don't have to, to recreate this look. Use what you have, use similar colors, and you can still achieve this look. And I'm just going to apply this on top. Okay, let me zoom out for you guys so you can see the entire face. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you guys soon. Bye!